I'm ready to show you that it is possible to quit because if I can easily manage these urges, you can do it as well. Picture me five years ago, typical gamer, hardstock league player who would play games because I didn't escape from this shitty reality. The reality was that I would always find different nofab strategies and get my hopes up. I started making promises to myself and I would always lie to myself that I was the one in control. Because after a couple of hours I relapsed again. I've been there bro. I remember that hopeless feeling inside of me. The worst part was that I was too numb to cry. No matter how much I tried, only thing that could make me feel anything was the weed. I fell below everyone else even though I had seen 100 times more vagina than my previous ancestors. But I could still not properly talk to the opposite gender. Whenever I would try talking to a girl, I was inside my head and would overthink what she would think of me during the conversation. Back then I could not even keep eye contact with one without panicking. It was time to stop. Because I refused that reality and I refused not to be able to talk with somebody I'm attracted to. I found countless videos of different strategies and there were some that were dead ends but there was a few that helped me a lot. The first one was to admit that I was a corn addict. To actually admit defeat. I know, I know, many of you think this will make you powerless. In fact, it does give you the power to stop. Because now your brain won't trick you anymore. It always thinks, oh I can win this. Or it's not that bad, let me just have a look. But when you actually admit defeat, your addiction won't thrive on these thoughts anymore. It can't give you the false belief that you're in control. I looked around and I realized that my brain is what got me here in this situation. I can't really trust my brain anymore. It's not that your brain wants to harm you, but it's because it does not see the point of self-improvement when it can have its dopamine hits right now. Treat it like a child. Pay attention to its excuses and arguments. After a couple of months, I did get long streaks here and there, but it would end up with me relapsing, which I did not like. I wanted to completely get rid of this habit, because I was always so relaxed and content after relapsing. I would stop doing important work for a couple of days. I want to get more consistent. The other concept that really helped me was to replace this old habit by being occupied with other habits that I would fill up my time with. Whenever I would get the urge to relapse, I would procrastinate that urge and always say I'll do it later. The urge would of course build up in my mind, but it would go away after some minutes while I said I'll do it later and quickly took a walk outside. This really helped me to fight the urge. But something that slowed my progress is that I always ended up blaming myself after relapsing. I would be stuck in my head and it felt like my whole day was ruined because I couldn't stop it. Instead of doing this, try to show acceptance and be realistic. You have been doing this bad habit for several years of your life. Don't expect to suddenly never do it again. Remember, you're going against the grain. You're not just going against your own nature, but what society today has programmed you to do. You can't open social media these days without getting urges. Focus on what you can achieve only today and nothing more. If you fail today, you move on and make the best out of it.